Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all man was good Ryan Garcia posted on Twitter that he advised his team to contact Team Haney for a potential fight. Ryan Garcia, you know, uh, said that the ball is now in Devin Haney's court and that he's done everything that he needed to do to initiate a fight with Devin Haney. Devin Haney then responded on Twitter or X and said that these are facts confirming and acknowledging the fact that Ryan Garcia and his team did reach out to Devin Haney for a fight. Um, this is good for a couple of reasons, right? Obvious reasons. It's good because in the past, Ryan Garcia has openly declined to fight Devin Haney, even had an opportunity to fight for Devin Haney's WBC title, which would have been his first title shot. To this day, he's never fought for a legitimate world title that would have been his first opportunity turned it down he was the mandatory and the fact that he is now going towards that fight it's a good thing for ryan garcia um you know it shows the fact that he's he's wanting to go towards the smoke we know that he did fight tank davis which was more so a money fight than anything and in a lot of ways this fight for Devin haney a money fight you know um, get a name on your resume. We're going to talk about what it means for Devin Haney, but for Ryan Garcia is good because it shows that he, he's going towards the smoke and it's the exact opposite of what he's shown in the past when he had an opportunity to fight Devin Haney. So uh, kudos to Ryan Garcia because these days, man, it's a lot of guys talking about what they will and won't do. It's a lot of guys talking about, you know, call this person to call that person. But Ryan Garcia is, is actually putting in the groundwork to initiate fights and make shit happen. So I give Ryan Garcia credit for that. He's going towards Devin Haney after Devin Haney just put on his best performance in a new division. Ryan Garcia now being at 140, um, I believe he had his, I think he had so far, what, two fights at 140? The Tank Davis fight was at a catch weight. Um, but this, he, I think, I believe he's had two official fights at 140, if I'm not mistaken, you know, so kudos to Ryan Garcia on that for Devin Haney, to be honest with you, um, Devin Haney has done everything that he needed to do as far as legacy, uh, going for titles, uh, fighting champion after champion, after former champion, after former champion, you know, became undisputed, was one of the longest reigning champions with the WBC at 135. Then he became undisputed and defended that two times in the rematch versus Cambosis and then versus a pound for pound caliber guy like Lomachenko. Then you move up to 140, you fight a top two guy in the division in Regis Progray, another champion. You defeat him in spectacular fashion. And like Devin Haney said in the post fight interview of that fight, he said, Man, look, I done done everything. Like, you know, I think I deserve to. You know, to just make the, the biggest fights for the biggest money. You know what I'm saying? And um, I respect that. It, it it reminds me of what Devin Haney said back when, um, like a few years ago. He said, the difference between me and my peers and these other guys is that they all want to be Floyd Money. They, they all want to be Floyd Money Mayweather. They want to be Floyd after he had already put in all the work, the Floyd Mayweather that was coasting. Just going for the big bags. But Devin Haney said, I'm pretty boy Floyd. Not saying that he's on the same skill level. Of course, he being a fighter, he's going to think that he's better than anybody, right? But not saying that he's on the same skill level as Floyd. But he's saying that I'm pretty boy Floyd Mayweather, the guy who everybody was ducking at 130 and 135. The guy who couldn't get some of the best fighters in the ring and then ultimately did get those guys in the ring like the Diego Corrales's. You know, like the Arturo Gattis, the Angel Man Freddies. You dig what I'm saying? Ultimately, you know, uh, later on down the line, he ended up getting the Oscar De La Hoyas and, and Shane Mosley's and guys like that. But the Floyd Mayweather, you know, that fought the uh, Jose Castillo. You dig what I'm saying? The Gennaro Hernandez's, the um, 
uh, uh, um, Emmanuel Augustus, the guy that was fighting all comers and going towards the smoke. You dig what I'm saying? Devin Haney said that that's me. I'm putting in the work. And now he's actually reached a point to where he can go towards those those money fights. And of course, Devin Haney still wants to fight legacy fights. So I know this might be one of those fights where you're like, dang, it's a little bit different. It's a change up because you expect him to go after a champion. But I think it's a solid defense for Haney. Um, it's a name. You get, you know, a nice little payday. Uh, people going to want to see that fight. They got history in the amateurs. I believe they tied in the amateurs uh, three and three. It's been a lot of banter back and forth. Ryan Garcia showed up to Devin Haney fight. Devin Haney showed up to Ryan Garcia fight. So um, is this a great fight? Absolutely not. Um, this is a fight that uh, I believe the consensus would say that Devin Haney is levels above Ryan Garcia and Ryan Garcia skillfully just he don't have a chance in this fight skillfully. Now he got speed, he got power. That's always dangerous. Uh, you know, one punch can change anything, but I don't think Ryan Garcia going to hit Devin Haney with none of that bullshit, to be real with you. Um, you know, this this might be, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather. Speaking of Floyd, you know, one of his three fights at 140 was versus Arturo Gotti. This might be a, an Arturo Gotti type of performance for Devin Haney. It might be that with the lack of defense. And, and shout out to Derrick James. I love Derrick James. But, you know, man, Ryan, he's had multiple trainers. You can't really change the core of a guy. You can only help them get better and sharpen up the tools that they already had and have developed. I don't think he's going to be able to save Ryan Garcia. And the defense that he showed in that last fight with the, this hybrid Philly shell, the shoulder roll, I mean, it was, it was terrible. Um, it's just not good when you're in there with an elite guy. It's so many openings, so many ways that he could get you know, uh, set uh, for traps. So many ways that he can get, uh, you know, pummeled with lead shots, like lead power shots. It, I mean, the defense was so leaky, it's unbelievable. You dig what I'm saying? It's something that a guy like Devin Haney will easily exploit. So this could very well be Devin Haney's Arturo Gotti moment um, versus Ryan Garcia. You know, a guy that's going to come forward, who's going to throw shots um, and who's going to be right there for you to hit him. You know, so I think Devin Devin Haney will be uh, superbly skilled and uh, sharp in this fight. You know, patient. The footwork is going to be there. Uh, the hand speed going to be there. The countering ability is going to be there. And it's really going to be up to Ryan Garcia to change that. You know, it's going to be up to him to land one of those shots and make Devin Haney do something that Devin Haney don't want to do. But ultimately, like I said, it's not a great fight. It's not. A, I don't think this fight is going to be competitive, to be honest with you. Um, exciting, yes, because there's a threat of De Devin Haney getting knocked out. And I think Devin Haney could possibly stop Ryan Garcia if we're keeping it 100. So um, that's the excitement. You're going to be able to see Devin Haney put on. He has a perfect canvas to paint the perfect picture with his skill set. You know what I mean? And put on a great performance. So that's going to be dope if you want to see just phenomenal boxing ability and just incredible skills on display. Um, and then there's the threat of either guy getting stopped. So, um, you know, like I said, good defense for Haney. Your first fight at 140, you knocked off Regis Progre, a top two guy in the division. Um, I would have loved to see him go straight to another champion to unify because that's just routine Devin Haney. But like you said, he going for the big fights. Um, there's been a lot of banter back and forth with Tank Davis and, and Devin Haney team. I haven't heard of. Tank Davis, the A-side, and their team sending Devin Haney no offer and nothing like that. So I love the fact that Devin Haney is not waiting on nobody. I love the fact that Devin Haney is just keeping this shit moving, bro, keeping this momentum. You got a lot of momentum right now. You got your name in people's mouth, both good and bad. Keep this shit going, bro. Keep fighting just like how Canelo do. Staying active. Motherfuckers can say whatever they want about Canelo, but Canelo stays active and he constantly fighting. Constantly setting up fights. As soon as he get out the ring, they already talking about the next fight. If motherfuckers don't want nothing, if motherfuckers don't want no smoke, we going on to the next. Now, Canelo, he already be having his shit lined up. You dig what I'm saying? And you got to have contingency plans. You got to have shit lined up. And um, I love the way that Team Haney is moving, you know, keeping him active. 25 years old, going on his 32nd fight. 
that's good activity, man. That's how you get better. Staying under the lights, not just in 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 the gym, sparring and shit and working out. Being under the lights with them eight ounce gloves, you know, with with everything on the line, that shit keep you mentally sharp. You know what I'm saying? And to keep your skills sharp and to keep you in a constant state of competition and you know that that high energy. You dig what I'm saying? And, and and a high level of focus. So it's hard to beat a guy like that when they constantly in the gym and they constantly getting fights and they constantly fighting, you know, top level competition. You dig what I'm saying? So um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Uh, what do y'all think about a fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? Um, how do you think it'll play out for those who don't agree with me as far as this being a, a lopsided matchup Do you that actually think that Ryan Garcia can or will win this fight you know let me let me know down in the comments break that shit down for me and for those who think Devin Haney gonna win how you think he gonna win man y'all let me know what y'all think man contender regime boxing I holla at y'all boys man